What is display screen equipment? Display screen equipment, or DSE for short, is all about devices or equipment that have an alphanumeric or graphic display screen and includes display screens, laptop, touch screens, and other similar devices. To achieve a good working posture at your workstation, make sure you adopt a straight on position in relation to the screen. Avoid twists in your neck, body, or legs. Don't stoop or sit on the edge of your seat. No matter how good your posture is, staying in the same position for long periods can lead to discomfort. So please remember to vary your posture occasionally. This image shows 10 particular points. Pause the presentation. Think about where there could be potential safety issues. Make some notes and let's compare them. With your seat, adjust your seat back height and tilt to give good lumbar support. Adjust the seat height so that your forearms and wrists are roughly horizontal with the keyboard ASD row. What we mean by that are the ASD buttons on your keyboard. Ensure your shoulders are relaxed, not hunched up or arched forward. And avoid excess pressure on the backs of the thighs and knees. Keep your feet flat on the floor and get a foot rest if required. Make sure you have enough space under the work surface for changes in your posture. Ensure your screen is at a comfortable viewing distance. And ensure the height and angle of the screen are comfortable for your use. Make sure there's space in front of the keyboard to support your hands and wrists during pauses in keying. And keep your workstation tidy. Make sure essential documents and phones, etc., are readily available and kept to hand. Avoid twisting to reach for these items. Achieving good viewing conditions, you need to make sure you keep your screen clean. Make sure the characters on your screen are in focus and easy to read. Adjust the brightness and contrast of your screen as necessary. Select a light color white for background and a dark color, black, for the characters. To achieve good viewing conditions, set the source documents at the same distance and in the same plane as the screen. If you'd like to minimize glare and reflections, you can adjust the tilt and height of the screen. You can reconfigure the workstation, use window blinds or curtains. You can also avoid sitting with the windows directly behind or in front of you. We also have a downloadable DSE assessment template. Use that as a part of a self-assessment or you can use it in your company as part of the risk assessment profile. It's time for action. Once you've downloaded the template, you can open it up using the Microsoft Word package. It's a fairly straightforward template and you can customize it to your company requirements. It may be that you're doing a self-assessment, in which case you don't necessarily have to fill out all the fields. But if you are doing it from a regulatory perspective or from a company perspective, it is useful, of course, to fill out the necessary details like the use of the department, team leader and date. The questions are fairly straightforward. And as per the assessment that we did, the introduction for display screen equipment at workstations, we're going through a range of various categories. We're going through environment, the display screen equipment itself, and the mouse and trackball, furniture, job design, and any others. And by any others, you may, of course, feel free to add additional uh, questions or requirements as you wish. It would be advisable once you've downloaded the template then to go through each of these questions one by one and be as meticulous as you can when you answer the questions. For example, is there enough room to be able to change position and vary movement? Yes or no? Be very straightforward and answer it. The questions are fairly straightforward on the assessment. Just go through all of the various risk factors on the left hand side and answer with a yes or a no and any appropriate comments or actions that you'd like to take. It's always useful to have a date to be completed by for actions and also any follow-up actions required plus closure in terms of a sign out. And that really is the DSE assessment. It's fairly straightforward, 
There's nothing complicated about this, and it just really complements the entire DSE introductory course that we've just covered.